Today I'm sharing with you about a small area north of Coeur d'Alene called Bayview. And when I say small, I mean small. It is itty bitty. For being a small town, this area does pack a big punch and I'm excited to share with you about it. Bayview is located at the southwestern end of Lake Pend Oreille. And once again, I just wanna point out to you how pronunciation North Idaho is hard. <laughs> does, does this word look like how it should sound? No, it doesn't. Other examples. Kootenai County doesn't sound how it looks. St. Mary's, it looks like St. Mary's to me. These words make it very easy for others to identify us as outsiders. So get in front of your game and figure these words out before you get here. <laughs> and then quick blur before I keep talking about Bayview, I appreciate you watching my video. My husband and I moved our family out to North Idaho last winter and I started this channel as a way to help other people learn about relocating to this area. I am a realtor. I am starting my business over from scratch after eight and a half years of building a business in a different area. And I would love to help you relocate. If you want to chat about a move here, reach out to me anytime. My contact information is in the description below and I would love to hear from you. It would make my day. I'm making a new video on this channel at least every week, sometimes more. So if you like my content and don't think that I am super annoying, hit subscribe and turn that bell on so that you don't miss a video. So Bayview is in the sticks without being crazy far away from Coeur d'Alene. It is 37 minutes to downtown Coeur d'Alene. It is 33 minutes to Sandpoint and an hour, 10 minutes to the Spokane airport. To get to Bayview from Coeur d'Alene, you head north on Highway 95, then east on Highway 54. You go through Farragut State Park and Farragut State Park it spans over 4,000 acres and is one of Idaho's largest state parks. And if you live in Bayview, this is essentially your backyard. You go through the state park and you head then a little bit north to get to Bayview. The scenery as you come into Bayview is breathtaking. I actually stopped my car, got out and took pictures. And I don't do that very often. I have been spoiled rotten growing up in the Columbia River Gorge in Southwest Washington, which I think is like the most beautiful place in the world, but it is very majestic, it's beautiful. And the shoreline in Bayview is lined with marinas and boats in covered and uncovered slips all year round. There are also several sections of floating homes in four of the marinas. And how fun would that be to live on a floating home or to have one? In terms of amenities, all your big businesses are gonna be down in Hayden and Coeur d'Alene. So if you need to go into a major bank branch or have a doctor's appointment, you're not going to find those things in Bayview. Bayview is only 11 miles from Athol though, and Athol seems to be growing and adding amenities. Right off of Highway 95, before driving through Farragut, there is a big Super One Foods, a gas station, which is a very nice gas station, I may add. Idaho has the nicest gas stations I've ever seen. And I believe there's also a bank right there. Uh, there's also a Sweet Lou's restaurant, which Sweet Lou's has a location down at McEwen Park in Coeur d'Alene. And there's also an urgent care right there at that intersection of Highway 95 and Highway 54. Bayview also does not have its own school system, so you're gonna be sending your kids to elementary school in Athol and Timberlake Junior and Senior High School in Spirit Lake. They do provide bus service though, so at least you're not gonna be the shuttle driving your kids to and from school. There are some community events to look forward to in Bayview, including Bayview Days, which is an annual summer celebration held in early July each year. It's always held on the weekend closest to the 4th of July. They've got a street parade, um, a market, a lighted boat parade at dusk, fireworks show happens at dark. Bayview is the home location for the Lake Pandora. <laughs> I did it, I said it wrong. The Lake Pondere Yacht Club. Pondere Yacht Club is a nonprofit organization which promotes racing, cruising, and educational activities on Lake Pondere for sailors and people interested in sailing. Lake Pondere offers over 200 miles of alpine freshwater shoreline and stretches over 42 miles from Bayview to Sandpoint. Water sports include fishing, boating, water skiing, and swimming. Other attractions are camping, hiking, and exploring. Biking with great hunting also happening in the fall. If you've got horses, I think you should definitely consider this area. The convenience of having Farragut State Park right there in your backyard where you can trail ride in such a beautiful setting is pretty unbeatable. Selling season in Bayview is June through August. And with that time of year, having the most listings on the market, which is pretty normal. I mean, in general, people like to list their homes in spring and summer. 
Right now, which it's January 2024, inventory across the board in this area is pretty low and there are homes on the market, but we are going to see a surge this spring and summer. Currently, there is three months of inventory in Bayview, which means that if no new homes came on the market next month, then all of the current listings would be sold within three months. You do get a break on home prices in Bayview with the average list price in the $400,000 range. Don't get me wrong, and you can still spend big money uh, on a house in Bayview to get a home with either a lake view, so like primary waterfront or secondary waterfront. It's pretty easy to spend $900,000, a million dollars. I have set up a search if you want to see active listings in Bayview and the link is in the description down below and that's going to take you to my home search website which is searchhomesnorthidaho.com and it's going to just pull up active listings for you. If you want to go check out Bayview, there are some small resorts and bed and breakfasts there in the downtown area and I am putting some links to those in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.